Greetings. This is the fourth video in our series pertaining to an introduction to using Earned Value Management in Primavera P6. This tutorial discusses the calculation of estimate to complete in Primavera P6. Let's take a look at what we have so far. On the activity we've been tracking, we can see that we currently have an estimate to complete of $6,400. $6,400 was calculated based on the remaining cost of my activity. And the remaining cost of this activity is taken from the Resources tab, where I can see I have 64 remaining hours to be spent times the $100 per hour rate of the resource to arrive at $6,400. So when I add my estimate to complete plus my actual costs, I will arrive at my estimate at completion for this activity, and which is $9,400. And if my budget at completion is $8,000, I can see that I'm going to end up in $1,400 in the negative with my variance at completion. My existing strategy for estimate to complete is based on the remaining cost of the activity but there are other strategies that take into consideration existing schedule overruns and cost overruns. The technique for establishing how you want to calculate estimate to complete is done at the WBS level. In WBS details there's an earned value tab and on the right hand side you can identify your technique for computing estimate to complete. As it stands now, my ETC is being calculated or is represented by the remaining cost for the activity. You will see, though, that there is another strategy where you can calculate ETC using a performance factor times budget at completion minus earned value. The options below there are your strategies for how you want to use the performance factor. The two we are going to explore take into consideration the cost performance index as well as the cost performance index and schedule performance index. Let's start out using the performance factor including the cost performance index. So I'll go ahead and click on the radio button and when I go back to my activities window I'll see that my estimate to complete is now $9,000. When you use CPI in the calculation of estimate to complete, this represents a reliable indicator of the minimum required total costs, and it's typically viewed as the most optimistic the project will do based on the history so far. So if my estimate to complete is 9000 and my actual costs are 3000 my estimate at completion will be 12,000 and you'll see how my variance at completion changes accordingly. So again, I'm using CPI in the calculation of estimate to complete and it's regarded as the minimum total required costs. Let's go back to our WBS and let's select the option where I'm using both CPI and SPI in the calculation of ETC. So now when I go back to my activities window, I'll see that my estimate to complete is now reflected as $18,000. And when I add that to my actuals, I end up with estimate at completion of $21,000 and a variance of $13,000 in the negative. This strategy represents a reliable indicator of the maximum total required costs to complete the project because it does take into consideration both a cost overrun and behind schedule condition. Thank you for viewing our earned value management techniques. Hopefully these were helpful to you. Thank you very much.